Hey, this is Samuel from Saint Hack, and today I'm in Allentown, PA, uh, by the Lehigh, well, in Lehigh Valley. Um, they had the Lehigh Valley University, and it's more like I think it's more like an industrial town. And I'll just um, go through the town and kind of check it out. Um, Allentown, Pennsylvania, you know, and they have like museums for like um, I think when America was beginning to become more industrialized. Um, I was I didn't get a chance to go to the museums, but I could see like this town is full of of um, of uh, museums and uh, things dedicated to um, the industrial um, the industrial progress of America. You know, so even this place um, right here is like a dedication to all the workers that died during the um, the Lehigh uh, Valley industrial time, something like that. You know, and this statue right here is kind of like a dedication towards that. Um, so today I'm doing something different. Um, actually, one of my subscribers and one of my friends, Marcos Aurelius, you know, Marcos Aurelius. Uh, if you're watching this, um, I know about a couple of weeks ago you did suggest that I do one. At some point, I do um, kind of like just smelling the perfumes right of the go, you know, without um, going through it, you know. So I thought about it. I said, oh, this would be an interesting thing, and. Um, also a new it will be like a good concept for a new video you know so that's why i decided to um to do it you know so shout out to marcos aurelius marcos aurelius actually the original marcos aurelius was um a philosopher um during the roman i think before the roman empire or during the roman empire he was one of the great great um, um leaders you know and he is known for stoicism you know stoicism uh, they believe in now, you know, forget about the past, forget about the future, just focus on now and what you could do now, you know. And as a, as a, a king or a leader, uh, Marcus Aurelius was um, greatly known for that. He was actually like a philosopher and also for that, you know. So, I like, uh, I like philosophy, I like meditation, I like, um, you know, awareness and spirituality, you know. So. It was interesting, all right. So I'm doing this. Shout out to uh, Marcos Aurelius, you know, for that suggestion. Again, if you have any suggestions or anything, definitely leave them in the in the comment section below, and I know I definitely get back to you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys for following the channel, for subscribing, and of course for all, for all your um, comments and also for all your suggestions, you know. So today I'm doing um, Emporial Emporial Diamonds, you know, Emporial Diamonds. So I have it right here. Emperor Emperor Diamonds. And I, I've had this for a while. I've had this for a while and I don't know why. It's been at the store, since had um, store for a while. I've had it with me for a long time. I don't know why I never reviewed it. You know, for some reason I thought it was it was um for some reason I always thought it was like feminine or like a female perfume oil. So I never really like reviewed it you know and was sitting in my stuff for a long long time and then um i think last two weeks i was going through my stuff um all the fragrances and stuff that i have and also going through the inventory at, at the store <laughs> and then i realized that i have emperor diamonds you know in store you know and it's actually a masculine um perfume oil type you know um imperial diamonds is from amani Gio Giorgio Armani, you know, Giorgio Armani, I believe they are Italian also, um, they do a lot of um, designer um, stuff, you know, watches, clothing, perfume, I have done, a, I have reviewed a perfume I type from Giorgio Armani, um, Armani Attitude, you know, back in those days when I started reviewing um, perfume oils, you know, so you can watch it as well, the reviews, um, the links to those videos are, will be below, it's an old um, review I did, but it has a lot of value. And um, Emperor Diamonds, uh, the perfumery type was inspired from Emperor Diamonds, um, the perfume, you know, actually came in in 2008, you know, and, um, you know, there it is. <laughs> so, I have not smelled this at all. This is like my initial impressions of what I get from it. Um, generally, this is what I do when I get, um, like after I bring perfumes into the store, Scent Hack, I kind of have a sample. And then generally I smell the sample, you know. And usually I would um, kind of sample it out, maybe open it up and take a little bit into, um, I have little vials 
Um, if you ever bought from Centac and you, you know, requested a sample, I had these little valves that I put them in. So generally, I put my sample in it and I carry it in my car, you know, and then generally I'll try it out, you know. So it's spring, it's still very hot. Um, just to give you an idea of um, the temperature, it's still spring, but it's very, very hot. You know, it's been very cloudy, but it's been very, very hot. And um, this is the first time I'm, I'm kind of reviewing it. Um, it's dark. Um, it looks like a natural oil. For some reason, most of the natural oils have this dark color. Um, so I just smell it now to see. I've never used it. I've never smelled it. So this is like the first, um, like the first impression, <laughs> kind of. I like my hair today. It's dry because my hair is like so dry. When it gets hot like this, like if it looks full, because I like it, but it just gets dry, it starts breaking out. So I just smell out of the bottle to see. Yeah, and the one, one reason I never reviewed it, it's always been I never reviewed it. For some reason I thought it was feminine, it was also like the diamonds, you know. Um, like crystal, diamonds, those things are kind of like associated to fe feminine perfumes. You know, so for some reason it was just like, <laughs> you know, not in my didn't occur to me that I need to review this, you know. But, you know, there it is. So I, I'm just smelling it now. Out of the bottle. I mean... I mean, out of the bottle, I could see it's a little floral. It's, it's very nice. It's floral. It's very nice. It reminds me a little bit of dark cumber. Again, I use dark, dark cumber a lot. You know, if you haven't gotten it, make sure you get it from Saint Um But it's dark cumber is more like very crisp, very defined. This is like reminds me slightly some slight aromas of dark umber. It's kind of it's floral. It's nice smelling, but it's not feminine. It's not feminine at all. It's very inviting, like if you're wearing it and somebody is around you, it's like they want more. It's very, very inviting. I could say it has hints of hint of powderiness. Okay, so that's what I got from the bottle. But um, this is like the first take. This is what I'll do. Usually I'll smell it and then... Um, I'll, just, I'll write down what I got and then um, over time, like maybe the next day or something, I'll kind of get try to smell it again. But let me put some here. <laughs> I was scratching earlier because I have dry skin, so when it gets hot, I tend to scratch. I need to moisturize myself more and I applied it and it's kind of burned a little bit. Oh my God, it smells so nice. It smells so nice. It's not. It's not aromatic. It's not aromatic, but it smells so nice. It's kind of like. It smells so nice, but it's not super aromatic like some like things you find in Blue de Chanel or um, the One Spot or um, the Sachi Paul Home. Those that I reviewed. It's not like that, you know. It's but it's also kind of like a little bit floral. But not super floral, tiny bit powdery, a little bit of um, dark amber in it. Oh my god, it smells so nice. I'm gonna put a lot. But I could also tell that it's not gonna be, um, it's gonna be strong on projection. It's, um, you know, I could just tell that it's not going to be very, very strong on projection. So I'm applying a lot now. It's almost like 7 o'clock already. You know, believe it or not, we still have daylight. It, it gets to 8 o'clock before it gets totally dark, you know. So I must still, I must still apply a lot. I'm going to still apply a lot. Putting some on my neck, you know. And then um, I'll just see as it goes. I'll see... How I react, but it smells so nice. It 
it doesn't have any citrusy stuff in it at all I would say it has some natural it has natural whatever that I'm smelling is like natural you know I would say it has some mask in it but um, maybe some mask some amber definitely some floral and um, no we'll see <laughs> Um, right from the go, I could say I could wear this. Um, I could wear this on the day, you know. I could wear this. Um, I could wear this to work. Um, excuse me, like a more business. I could wear this like a more business setting too. But it wouldn't. I say. I think it would perform more like in a more intimate session. You know, it's not very very strong too. It's not very very strong. But you could feel it, you could smell it around you. It smells very nice. Mm. So this is not bad. This is not bad. Um, I would say it reminds me a little bit of things that I know, you know, like the, the perfumeries that I mentioned before. It reminds me a tiny bit of those. So it's not totally unique but it also has a tiny bit of um it has a, a little unique edge you know it's not very unique or it's not totally like um also um brand new you know if it makes sense but it's very very nice it smells very nice I'm trying to see what it reminds me of if it reminds me of something else This is what I do, just sitting there, just waiting. I thought it was going to be super strong, like overbearing, super strong, you know, but not at all. This is very accommodating, very contemporary, and it's nice. You know, so I'll spend some time with it, you know, um, just to, this is what I, this is like my first take of it. I'll spend some time with it, I'll probably update you. Um, as I go along maybe in a day or two and smell it more see what else I got and then I kind of finalize the notes and then I'll give you the notes you know but as you mean I'm adding it now then if you want to get it you could go to um, sendhack.com since I write below this video um, you could get it from sendhack $5.99 and I personally um, ship it to you uh, free shipping uh, check out other videos that I mentioned so you get a good idea of what it is um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Subscription button is right here. Uh, that way, you never get my new videos when they come out every week. I think I might do some new ones like this, you know, where I'll just smell it like my first initial impressions of it. And then, um, also, um, if you miss out anything on the video or you just want to read about the notes and stuff like that, you could go to my website, Sentac. Uh, it's right below this video, and uh, you could read about the notes. And, um, you know because i do a blog post on the website as well so make sure try and visit the website and check it out as well follow me on social media i'm everywhere but most importantly again if you're not subscribed please subscribe right here so you get my new videos when they come out every week take care and um until next time